name is Katie and today we're going to do a little bit of a follow-up to the first part of our series of the top five traffic questions that we are asked. Following up from last time, another question we get asked is, it's just a minor traffic matter, it'd be okay for me to plead guilty, right? Well, wrong. Pleading guilty can mean a lot of different things. Let's use the example of a first offense of failing to maintain or provide proof of financial responsibility, commonly called a no insurance ticket. In the offense, there's not any jail time, you would not qualify for the services of the public defender's office. So many people think, okay, I can pay my fine, pay my costs, and be done with this. Well, that's incorrect. The prosecuting attorney may not advise you or may not even know that pleading guilty to this can result in you losing your license for 30 days. There are then reinstatement fees that you'll need to pay. It may be hard or impossible to obtain insurance in the future should you so elect, as well as the fact that it may increase premiums in the event that you do get insurance in the future. So there can be a lot of effects that you would not be advised about that may come from pleading guilty even to a very minor traffic offense. The next question is, won't it cost me more to get an attorney? And the answer is, not usually. There may be more of a fee up front because you will, of course, be looking at an attorney's fees. However, our fees are very competitive and that's something that we would love to discuss with you in person. It doesn't cost as much as you think. Furthermore, when you consider the cost of everything else, if you don't get an attorney and you plead guilty to the traffic offense, you may get points on your license. Your insurance premiums may be increased. There may be other fees you incur. For example, like we just talked about with the insurance, if you lose your license, you'll have to incur the fee to get that reinstated. There may be expensive courses that you're required to take with some of the drug and alcohol related traffic offenses. So the fees in not getting an attorney can really stack up. Where in getting an attorney, we can work with you on fees, we can explain the court costs, and you'll know what you're getting yourself into this way. Another question we get asked is, the prosecuting attorney is my attorney, right? Well, that's incorrect. The prosecuting attorney represents the state of Missouri, and that's a very important distinction. We have to remember that the United States court system is adversarial. The prosecuting attorney is your opponent. That's why it's imperative that you have an attorney and somebody that's looking out for you and your interests. 